I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is a guide for all of the hidden fish and quest things in the new 2019 anniversary event. So, one thing to note, this does not remove the tropical event from your thing. All events are on a slow rollout, so you, you'll get the update when you get it. They also removed the ability to update via APK, apparently. So you'll just have to wait. I think it's out for most people at this point. But yeah, and don't, don't try to delay it to keep the other event. You already keep it anyway. So, it's a tank event, so if you play the Halloween or Christmas tank events, you'll know how it plays. You just go to the map to open this up. Um, just want to say, if the guides and videos help you out, maybe check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash tap tap. You can also support me by becoming a YouTube member or a Twitch sub, or uh, I've got a PayPal link on the, on the Patreon page if you don't like recurring contributions so uh, check that out it really helps me out I need a I need to upgrade my PC it's been acting weird so that'll probably be a pretty big expense sometime this year still holding on a bit though but if you've never played one of these events before it's not too complicated uh, I'd browse through the written guide the written guides are kind of more complete these are just kind of like a quick catch-up kind of thing but uh, you go in here you tap a bunch of envelopes, uh, the envelopes, you know, the bubbles above the fish heads, um, come pretty fast in the event tanks, much faster than a regular tank. You charge up the uh, hermit crab, then you cast it. Then casting the hermit crab gives you lots of uh, candy. Candy gets you lots of... Um, candy lets you upgrade these things. Now, something very important to note in this one, in this tank, leveling up by ones is drastically less efficient than leveling up by tens. Look at the price there. Um, leveling up by 10 was only 30% more expensive than leveling up by 1. So you always want to you always want to get the biggest upgrade possible and you kind of want to wait so you can do multiples at once. Uh, that seems like a bug and it may be patched at some point in the future, but for right now, uh, that's just what you want to keep in mind. So there is two kind of ways to get fish. Some of the fish you have to open this present and Basically, you just have to open up to 150 presents to get the last ones and you just you get two free per day by watching ads If you can call that free otherwise, it's 30 gems uh, 30 pearls to open extra boxes um, Just like the Christmas and Halloween tank you just have to watch an ad to access it out even after the event ends So you don't have to rush to get the gift box fish. So don't worry about that too much You'll you'll be able to get them no matter what just you know, it's just a slow grind um, so, that's kind of the basics of the event. The event, um, since there's no caps, like in the other tanks now, there's no caps on vitality or on levels on here. So you just want to make as many fish as possible. Don't really worry about which fish you make. You don't really need to be as efficient as possible. You just need to be making fish as fast as you can. Um, you won't start unlocking hidden fish until you are a fair dang ways down this list here. Um, so... Don't worry too much about the hidden fish before getting, um, kind of getting stuck at some point. I'm not sure exactly when, if that happens, but, um, just make as many fish as you can. And then, let's go on to the fish. So, most of these are not hidden. This boy, the order for these is really weird. So, the babby sea turtle is, you need level 1,000, or 11,000... 150 celebration cake. That's one of the buildings slash coral. And you need level 5 great granted greeting. That's the uh, crab skill. So to level that up, you go to the magic tab, you level this thing up. I think to get the dragon, you need level 12 or 20 of this, um, which is a lot of gems. But the quests do give you gems in return. Um, probably not enough to fully complete it, but it does give you some of it. Um, back to this. You're not hidden. You're hidden, Chef Boy RD. The, the, the hidden ones are all around in this one. So, Chef Giant Isopod. You need to use Great Granted Greeting skill 20 times. Not that hard. And you need to take one photo of the first beacon. So, I have no idea which beacon is which, but when it says take a picture of beacon, what you need to do is just take a picture here, go to this one, take a picture here. Just take one picture of each of them. Um, this way it doesn't really matter which one you take a picture of. They always do this. Well, they have numbers, but it's not, there's no way to tell which number it is. So you just take a picture of them. So, um, does it show you the amount of times you've cast Great Granted Greeting? 
It does. So over here in the top, you'll see I only have nine casts, so I need to cast it um, 11 more times. And the fastest way to do that, after you do the initial charge, you'll get to watch an ad. Isn't that great? You get to watch an ad, guys. Um, you'll get to watch an ad every five minutes to reset it instantly. And that's generally the fastest way. Um, back into the hidden fish. So, due to how this is sorted, it's kind of hard for me to tell which ones are hidden, so I'm just gonna go down the list this way. Okay, Baby Crocodile, level 16,500 Central Stair. That's another one of the buildings. It's That's gonna take you a while again. Own five Baby Sea Turtles. So again, these are the, the unlocks are very sequential this time. You really do pretty much just go straight down the list. Uh, kind of boring in my opinion, by the way. Just very... Very by the numbers, very uninteresting unlocks. Um, I do think difficulty-wise, this event isn't so bad, but I just think it's kind of boring. At least unlock-wise. All right, Bandmaster Frog. Bandmaster Frog, do I not? Oh, there we go. Um, you need to own the Seahorse Theater, which is, again, one of the coral things. Use Great Granted Greeting a hundred times, so that one's gonna be a little later. You need to take one photo of the second beacon with pleasurable nobilis skill active. And what that is, is you need to cast this. You get one free cast per day um, by watching an ad, or you can get it from the gift boxes. Again, just take one picture with that skill active of all of the beacons and you'll get it. You're probably gonna be limited by the uh, casts, not the uh, photo. But may as well do it early if you so choose. Uh, Babby Shark. Small Bab. Which one? Where is the small Bab? Um, Babby Shark is just own five baby crocodiles, so that one's easy. Dancer Carp. I like this one. Is this that? That I think must be a real fish. It's very. It's fancy looking. Anyway, you need level 7000 Seahorse Theater, another one of the buildings. Then you need to own three Count Otter, which is a non hidden fish. Then take a picture of the Count Otter once with Splendid Aurora skill active, just like the other skill. You go in here, you can get it once for free, every day, once for free. So uh, that is not hard to do at all. Banned Lobster, not hidden. Dancer Monk Seal. You need to use Great Granted Greeting 120 times. You may be detecting a theme here. Own five Dancer Carp. Basically, own five of everything. Just as you're going through, own at least five of everything. You'll get plenty of vitality. Um, then you need to put five Bandmaster Frogs in the saltwater tank. And so what that means is you need to buy five of the fish in here. You know, buy them like this. And then you can go back to the saltwater tank and you can take them out with Manage Fish, and then when you come back in here, you'll get that unlock. It's basically a tutorial to show you, hey, you can you can put the other fish in your other tank. All right, where were we? Band Snapping Turtle. <laughs> they like the band theme here. Um, where is... Oh, I have it called the Wolf Turtle. There was a little bit of Google Translate involved. Anyway, level 10,000 Hermit Waterfall, another building. Level 15 of Great Granted Greeting. Take a photo of Dancer Monk Seal. Again, pretty simple. Uh, Lady Dolphin. <laughs> oh my. Look at that. That's... That's fabulous. <laughs> I actually haven't seen that before now. I must have missed it during my live stream. Anyway, own five band snapping turtle. Take one photo of Ship Nobilis. Um, the ship is... That's the little thing that has the cra the, uh, the gift box in it. Just go into photo mode. Bloop. Bloop and take a picture of it. All right. Not hidden. Babby Sunfish. Missed that one. Babby Sunfish. Where is the small bab? Um, oh, excuse me, one-year-old sunfish. Different. Um, put 10 one-year-old killer whales in the saltwater tank. It's weird, it requires... Oh, that must be behind. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so the one-year-old killer whale. You guys are so lucky you get to get this so much cheaper than we did the first year. These were so expensive. Um, touch bubbles from Baby Shark 50 times. Own three cake turtles. And take one photo of third beacon with splendid aura. Again, just take pictures of all of them. Uh, where dolphin? Lady dolphin. Tuxedo dolphin. Again, just looking, making sure which ones are actually hidden, because there's a lot this time. Uh, banned saltwater crocodile. 
Um, where are you? Ah, he's great granted greeting 150 times. That is the most amount of times you'll need to use it. Um, unlike this freshwater tank, you don't have to use it 500 times, so that's relief. Uh, own five banned snapping turtles. Take a photo of dancing carp with pleasurable ship Nobilis active. Uh, where are we? This boy. Babby sperm whale. Uh, one year old sperm whale. Own the hermit castle, which is another one of the buildings you unlock from the quests. Own ten party sunfish. And take a photo of a one year old sunfish with splendid aurora skill active. Not hidden, not hidden. You're hidden. All right, Parade Whale. Level 14,000 Hermit Castle, one of the buildings. Own three banned saltwater crocodiles. And take a photo of the ballroom sperm whale once. That's an unhidden fish, so you'll get that by the time you get here. And the big boy, Mr. Dragon Man. Um, you need to complete all of the quests, which we'll get to in just a minute here. And own 50 kinds of event fish, which I believe is basically everything else. I think that's everything else, less itself, the in-app purchase fish, and I think Poseidon. So, Babby Dragon here, you pay money. The Baby Dragon is not required for anything else. Um, it's just a $10 in-app purchase. Um, so these fish, these are the gift box fish. They, they don't entirely fit in the theme. They feel like they were kind of left over from an event that never happened. Um, so the soy puffer, you need to open six gift boxes. The embassy blobfish, who just looks like Napoleon. Um, Twelve gift boxes. Gentleman catfish is 18 gift boxes. I'm sure you're picking up on a theme here. <laughs> and the Poro de Zhang otter, who looks like a hopping vampire, actually. Looks like a Zhangxi. Um, open the anniversary celebration gift 24 times. Kipao penguin. Little Chung Lee cosplay there. Uh, open 30 times. 36 times for <laughs> Sheriff Octopus over here. That is that is a big mood right there. That is <laughs> absolutely makes no sense in the event, but I love it. And Kimono Seahorse, my favorite of the uh, the Asian traditional dress ones. Look at the little fan, it's so sassy. Uh, 42 boxes. Prince of Abyss, 50 boxes. And Poseidon, coming straight out of a certain Disney movie, um, is 150 boxes. That's why he is not required for the dragon. Uh, you do have to get, I believe, Prince of Abyss with the 50 boxes to get the dragon. Um, so regarding the quests, um, these aren't too hard to figure out. They're, they unlock sequentially and they give you their unlock conditions, but I'm just going to go through them anyway. So. First ones here. The first one that unlocks the central stairs, create one cake goby. Take a photo of balloon clownfish, create one balloon tang. Use great granted greeting once. All very easy, just gives you, you know, another building. Um, appetizer, which you can see here. Um, reach one F of vitality, create five cake cuttlefish. Uh, 4,700 levels across all buildings. And own 15 kinds of event fish. Not too hard. No hidden fish required for that one. Um, for the Polish Instruments quest, you need to own one N worth of Vitality, own five Bucks Butler Axolotls, place five Count Otters in the Saltwater Tank, own 22,000 levels across all the buildings in Coral, um, the pair, prepare the stage quest, you just need five AB worth of Vitality, level 10 Great Granted Greeting, five AQ worth of Candy, and own 23 kinds of Event Fish. And it may seem like the difficulty is kind of sinusoidal. It gets easier, then it gets harder, and it may seem like you're kind of stuck. And really, all you need to do, keep casting the crab, keep uploading, upgrading your stuff as much as you can. And if you can buy a fish, buy it. It doesn't matter if you can't buy any new fish. Just seriously, always buy a fish. If I wasn't explaining stuff, I would be buying fish. All right, so the VIP's visit quest. These are all, again, these are all in the guide. It might be easier to just reference those on the guide, but... Just in case, um, VIPs visit, create five courtyard dolphins, tap bubbles for candy 500 times, reach 85,000 levels across all buildings in coral. Again, these, these might sound worse than they are because without the cap, this is a lot less hard than the uh, Halloween event and Christmas event were when they first came out. It's still grindy, but it's not crazy. It's, not, it's probably easier than the, um, the tropical event has been, really. 
Um, reach 85,000, yeah, reach one BR worth of candy. Um, that unlocks the Hermit Castle, which is the last building. Stand by clue, or Q, does not unlock anything, actually. Um, that's the sixth quest. Create five party sunfish. Reach level 15, great granted greeting. Own five BX worth of candy. Own 40 kinds of event fish. That one will take you a while. That one is pretty rough. And Return of the Guardian is the final quest. That is what unlocks the hidden fish dragon. Um, reach level 20 of great granted greeting. Again, very expensive. Very expensive. Um, create one one year old sperm whale. Pretty easy. Um, own five parade whales total. Mew. Hi, Parker. And reach 110,000 total levels across all buildings and slash coral. That's right, Parker. It's a lot. It's a freaking lot, Parker. Also, the tank. I've been told the tank gets pretty busy and looks pretty neat once everything is done here. I have only got this. I've only unlocked the central stair, so it fills in. It looks pretty cool. I like the ambience of it. It's a bit weird for a... It doesn't look very anniversary, but it looks neat. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in the event. Um, have fun. One thing I wanted to mention, um, with these guides, I I get a lot of comments anytime there's a new event. Um, frankly, never assume you're the first person to tell me about an event. I always know there's an event. Um, I, I pretty much never need any help on that. And, uh, so you don't need to tell me that there's a new event, you don't need to rush, especially don't comment on non Abyssrium videos. That, that really annoys me, cause like, that's, that's for other stuff. It's fine if you don't like the non Abyssrium videos, but like, don't spam them with like, Abyssrium stuff. Everyone likes their own stuff, so kinda leave other people to do their stuff. And you know, maybe try watching them. Um, Abyssrium isn't the only good game in the world. So, you know. Maybe check out some other stuff. And also, um, please please don't beg for more Abyssrium videos. I I have really exhausted the topic. I've been making these videos for three years. Um, every time there's a new event, I make a guide. That's pretty much all there is to do. Uh, if you want to watch Abyssrium stuff, I have over 100 videos. I have over a week's worth, like a full week's worth of uh, video content of the game. Like, I mean, you could sit down on Sunday at midnight start playing the videos, like, in the playlist, and I think the playlist would still be going at the end of the week. Um, that may be... I, I don't even know. I do know that I have at least a couple days worth of live streams alone, so it's, it's a lot, trust me. If there was anything more to say about this game, I would, so don't, don't worry about it. Check out the playlist, it should be at the end of the video or in the description. Um, check it out. Maybe check out some of the other videos if you're bored. There's other cool stuff out there, like I said. Um, that's pretty much it for this event. Um, we don't know when it'll end. Probably around, you know... Since it started in the middle of a month, it's kind of hard to say. But I would say towards the end of next month, most likely. And I would say the tropical event is probably going to end at the end of this month. Dolphin is warming up. Thank you. Thank you, Dolphin. Thank you for your service. See, I don't know entirely. <laughs> yeah, this is how, if you don't know how, it, the game pretty much forces you to know how to put the fish in there. They're very adamant about you putting your, putting the event fish in the tank. So, if you missed the tropical event thing, I do have a full written and video guide on that, so check those out if you need help. Um, still some time left for that. Probably two weeks, like I said. And, uh, enjoy the game. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.